knowing that with God's transforming grace, they will be made into something grand. They will be made into the kingdom of God. And again, if each of us does something small, collectively, we gather together into something quite big. And as we do these things, as we allow God's grace to transform us, as we do small things for the kingdom of God, it reminds us that we are called, as Jeremiah said, to be close to God. In fact, these are the ways that we remain close to God, that we don't stray away from him, that we remain united to our God who loves us so much. Now, in a few moments, we will see this in action. We take very simple things, very small things, a bit of bread, a little wine, and with the grace of the Holy Spirit, they will be transformed into something great, the body and blood of the Lord. Our lives are called to do the same thing, to take our simplicity, to take even our littleness, but to let them be transformed by God into something great, into the kingdom of God. So, brothers and sisters, today our readings give us some great images to ponder. They remind us of what the kingdom of heaven is all about, and they remind us what our place is in God's kingdom. Let's pray that in little ways we might be changed more and more into the fullness of God's kingdom, so that we may remain ever close to God, that we might always be close to our God, not only here on earth, but eventually in heaven. As we seek to offer our lives in the service of God's kingdom, let us bring our prayers to our Father in heaven. For our holy church, may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. For our national and local representatives, may God grant them compassion to see his face in the most vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, especially those who lack adequate health care, support, or strength of spirit, we pray to the Lord. For all our faith communities, may God look graciously upon those most in need, we pray to the Lord. For all the faithful who have died, may they enjoy perfect peace and the abundance of God's love with Mary and all the saints, we pray to the Lord. for all the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. And for Joanna Woods, we pray to the Lord. Father, hear and answer the prayers that we bring before you. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 